My name is TV Barnett and the Royal Mount Moonshiners. playing old time mountain music where it's played like 200 years ago a lot of people gets it mixed up with bluegrass but uh, bluegrass didn't start till 1940 and this has been around for 200 years longer and it's a genuine old time mountain music we're going to play it as long as we can I reckon So uh, this particular type of music was played for square dancing and buck dancing and uh, stuff like that, and just for dancing mainly. It's not meant to be real pretty music, but it's just good for dancing. So many times when we play one of the Carter family love songs on the Audi harp and the guitar in the style that Mama Maybell made popular back in the 1920s, somebody will come up to us and say, my mama or my granny used to play that song and sing it to me when I was very young. It just takes me back. Many had night as you lay sleeping. And we're trying to uh, encourage the young people to play this kind of music. One reason I started playing it is in order to keep it alive so they could uh, play it hopefully a hundred years from now time last year. And uh, there's a lot of young people learning this music, and I'm glad to see them doing that. We tune our instruments, especially the fiddle and banjo and the sawmill key that was invented at the sawmill by the sawmill workers back in the early 1800s. Uh, they'd bring their instruments to work with them sometimes and play a tune or two at lunchtime or sometimes after work. And sometimes on the weekends they'd play for a squire dance or something. You know. But anyway, uh, they, uh, they got a fiddle, didn't know how to tune it, and they tuned it in the open chord. They called it sawmill key. And that's the way we tune ours today. 
uh, hits an open chord, and you can just know that you don't have to get no chords in that. The Appalachian lap dulcimer is a uniquely American instrument. It was made up summers in the southern Appalachian mountains by people who came from places in Scotland and Ireland. And if you listen real closely, it has the sound of the bagpipes, the droning sound behind it. They're made by hand. This one was made for me by T.V. Barnett uh, out of wood that he cut out of his own sawmill, and it's very special to me. I was born in Roe Mountain, Tennessee, and have lived here all of my life so far. Uh, and my grandpa and my great-grandpa and my father and all of them lived in Roe Mountain all their lives. And I don't really want to be anyplace else. So I guess I'll be here as long as I live. Thanks for listening, not throwing nothing at us.